Hi, thanks for coming. This video is about uh, SHM energy graphs in the time domain. Personally, I always like to start with the kinetic energy graph because of the obvious link between the VT graph and the KE graph. The, the link is, of course, through the formula KE is equal to half mv square. So in this graph, we see that the speed is maximum here, here, and here. So the KE graph should hit maximum here, here, and here. Right? And since the speed is 0 here and here, so the KE should also be 0 here and here. So how are we going to link up these five points here? Um, surprise! It's going to be a sinusoidal graph again. In fact, we know the exact mathematical equation to describe this um, variation in KE. Remember, KE is half mv square, right? So half m v square. So we're going, uh, we have omega square, x naught square, cosine square, omega t. Immediately, we recognize that this must correspond to the maximum Ke, which is also the total energy of the oscillation. Remember, if it's an undamped oscillation with no loss in energy, then the total energy of the oscillation is a constant. So it's a horizontal line. And the total energy must, of course, match the maximum kinetic energy of the oscillation. So let me just put it down here. Half m omega square x naught square. So the difference between total energy and kinetic energy has got to be the potential energy. That's where the energy is temporarily stored. Huh? So make a guess what is the mathematical uh, equation to describe this variation. Make a smart guess. It looks like a sine square omega t. Did we guess correctly? Yes, we did. Because if you add this to this, that means if you add p and the k together, you get the sine square plus cosine square, which is of course 1. So we are going to get half m omega square x naught square, which is of course the total energy. Now, there's one thing I have to point out to you. Um, very often, when we present the energy graphs to students, they mistake um, this to be one period of oscillation, when actually it should be this. The reason is simply because um, in energy graphs, you have two complete energy cycles in one uh, period of oscillation. So do watch out for that. That's all. Ta-ta!